Hello everyone, welcome again to the weekly live show that we are running answering your questions on the latest video that was posted two hours ago and then once we rinse all those questions and comments we'll just uh, we'll just go we'll just make it up as we go along answer some of your comments and uh, sorry answer some of your questions and get I'm feeling really giddy yes I, I didn't no, feel this in the first one but now it's, it's all suddenly just happened doesn't it yeah <laughs> once again we weren't as prepared as we should be and it's been a bit of a mad rush like it looked like half the building had just fallen down before setting this up about half an hour ago it was such such a mess in here. Obviously video we have just posted was the first part to the drill press table. It was meant to be all in one video but there was a little bit of a mix up with the footage because I forgot to send it to Rob and um, yes yeah, so we split it into two parts. Next part will be out next week but it is looking awesome. The Turning Tuesday video that I posted, have I got the piece? No. The Turning Tuesday video that I posted on Tuesday actually shows the finished table so a bit of a spoiler there if any of you want to see it but it's looking good it's looking good we got any comments uh, ready to go or are yeah. we yeah yeah all good yeah okay this is making a drill press table of course part one yeah William Simpson says uh, no OSB I think I'll have to unsubscribe <laughs> which is fair enough Will I've actually already unsubscribed just for that reason <sighs> the funny thing is I did actually consider it do you remember me saying you did actually. I did, didn't you? yeah. Obviously, I, I quite liked the thickness of that plywood. You need that on a drill press table. Uh, yeah, I did consider laminating two bits of OSB together, but yeah. Sorry, guys. I let you down there. I let you down. Also, the thought of sanding it flat wasn't, uh, wasn't too appealing, let alone trying to uh, route a groove, uh, sorry, route a rebate for the MDF panel to go in it later on. It weren't happening. It weren't happening. Good suggestion, though. Good suggestion. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Jason Holland follows that up saying, uh, surely the sacrificial piece should be from OSB. Oh, so there you go. And Vassal McKay says, I almost dropped my phone when he said MDF and not OSB. Okay, that was a missed trick. That was a missed trick. I should have done that. You've still got time. Start, start doing it now. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I could just make different ones. The only, the only problem with my OSB, with my OSB suppliers, right? The only problem is... When I buy nine millimeters, I've gone to Juicens to buy them before, and then I purchased the other OSB from, where was it? It's like a home base or something like that. Bunnings, perhaps, you guys will know it. Um, one of them seems to be 10 millimeters as opposed to nine millimeters. And I am, I'm very disheartened by this. Um, I like a good quality OSB supplier and I'm not getting it at the moment. I'm not getting it. So that might be challenging for that drill press table. Might be challenging. We got another question? We do. We do. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, Chris to Fix DIY Project says, another great video, my friend. I love your way of editing. Thank you. So there you, go. you. There I, you go. Again, I put a lot of effort into it. Um, yeah, a lot of blood, sweat and tears into that edit. Um, it's stressful sometimes. It's very stressful. Yes. Yeah. Uh, right. Don't know why you're agreeing, you wouldn't know. No, no, I, I know nothing about editing or setting up videos, setting yeah. up audio, it, seeing people complain about the echo and the audio. Yeah. I know nothing about it. I don't know yeah. how to fix it. It's not my fault, but it's happening. No, this is it. This is it. It's all yours. It is. Right. Um, P. Machido says the sacrificial piece should be round and you rotate it so you use all the piece. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Right. You know, I said we need to go mobile with the camera. Rob? Yeah, oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this was definitely planned. This was uh, planned. I might need something to, uh, I might need something to pick this out with. Let me just get my T-Rex tape. What was the question? I can't remember why I've come here. Um, but because it's uh, square and not, ah, not round. I remember, right, okay. So I didn't mention this in the video, right? But this column, is that what it's called? The column? No, that's the column. This bit, what's that called? The, you wouldn't know, um, that bit, it is not directly above the center of the square bit of MDF. So, like in actual matter of fact, it is actually drilling around here. So if I rotate that 90 degrees, I then drill that face, I drill that face, and I drill that face. Also, I can slightly angle the bed if I need to, to take out the corners. I can chop this thing to pieces before needing to replace it. Um, it just fits one way better than the others, so, um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> James Taylor 
yep. asks a very valid question. Uh, and he says, uh, with Rob suggesting ideas, can I see a video of hashtag Rob makes with you as a cameraman, maybe? Uh, Ooh. Oh. Ooh, what does that oh. mean? Uh, hmm. Mm. Yes. We, uh, we've thought of that. Um, I'm just going to say it. Yeah, we thought of doing that. Um, how this would work, let us know what you think of this. I would post a tutorial on how to make a basic project, which would be posted on a Saturday with my, well, as my normal tutorial video. Posted on Saturday, and then the following Sunday, or the day after, there would be a video of Rob trying to follow that tutorial with me filming it and also giving him guidance as he goes along. So I'll be teaching the project and you will see where a beginner normally trips up on certain things because I forget them. Um, like after doing woodworking for this many years, I forget about those basic things that beginners struggle with. So having this idiot trying to do it in front of me Sorry, should what? make things, what? Uh, continue. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. So having Rob do it in front of me should give me a like, it just show you how to get over those hurdles without me peering over your shoulder all the time. So, yeah. Um, in terms of actual projects, I'm probably going to try and teach him the projects that I'm teaching at the furniture school uh, at the moment. Which, I th yeah, I don't know how licenses work, but I'm just going to do it and apologise later if things go wrong. To be honest, I hope no one from Riker was watching this. No, no, no it'll be you. fine. No it'll content. be fine. Uh, so yeah, um, people are actually liking that idea. Mike Schrader says yep. Rob makes dovetails. Yeah, dovetail uh, box will be one of them. Other people are saying I should step into the limelight, uh, teach Rob basic woodworking skills, but also help teach the audience. Of course, yep. yeah, that's the whole idea. Uh, can Bob do any woodwork? Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> At the moment, I can't really do any woodwork. Uh, he made mortars and tenons once. I did do mortars and tenons. Yeah. Uh, and along those lines, uh, someone else asked... Rob was taught by the same guy that got me into woodworking. It's just I was, I went for it and Rob went down a different route and is now we've ended up in the same place anyway. So, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Funny how it's like Game of Thrones, that, isn't it? You don't watch it, never mind. Don't, don't make it suggest that I don't like it. I love Game of Thrones. However, <laughs> I just haven't had the time to watch all of it. Um, but along those lines... I feel like I fit a Game of Thrones reference into every video <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> uh, arbitrary Stuff says, what did you get for your GCSE project? What did I get? Yeah, what was the grade? Distinction. Uh, not distinction. Top marks. A star. Did you really? Yeah. I think I got a B. Yeah, it's because you did... Or did, two... I, did I get an A or No, a I think you got one of the two, but it's because you did too much work. Yeah, I was <laughs> docked marks for doing too much work. We had to do a... What was it? It was a, ma a process of making where you had to explain how you made the actual project. And most of us did, I don't know, two sides of A3. And you did, what, like 18, 20 pages? I believe it was something like 33. Of A3. And this was, this was small writing as well. Small writing, from what I remember. Yeah, but... <laughs> okay. The, the brief I was told was to write it out as if you're talking to a complete novice, and someone who knows nothing. Mm -hmm. So I went from scratch. You, you, yeah, you did. I put in all this work and then I'm dot points for it. I 33 mean, so, Something pages. about not being concise, I think was uh, the wording. <laughs> 33 pages for a GCSE. That's, long, that's longer than a dissertation, what you did there. And you did that for your GCSE no coursework. No, near longer than a dissertation. Definitely not longer than my dissertation. No, 33 pages of A3. I remember your writing being that small. Yeah, but I did, well, what was it? 18 or 20,000 words for dissertation oh. plus all the graphs. Okay, mine was only 8,000. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, no, I mean, the ri again, the original brief was 6,000 words. <laughs> so you got a habit of doing this. But you've this. got to have an appendix. <laughs> And you're not marked uh, on the appendix, but if not, you don't have any appendix, you're knocked down. I remember being told that. I remember being told that, actually. Yeah, that was the thing. That was the thing. Right, Nick Gaspard says, would you mind... Oh, no, he's asking me. Hi, Rob. Would you mind asking Matt where he buys his hand tools, mainly internationally? <laughs> mainly internationally. Um, depends where he's based. Most of the hand tools and stuff from Axminster... Uh, however, if you're in, in the US, I mean, I would get my Lee Nielsen tools from Lee Nielsen. I would get my Veritas tools from Lee Valley. Um, depends where you're from, really. Axminster, I think, are Europe-based. Yeah, they can post around Europe. That's where I get most of my stuff from. But other places would be Classic Hand Tools, Workshop Heaven, 
uh, Dieter Schmidt in Germany. I think their website is finetools. What would that be? I think it's .com actually. Anyway, type in fine tools and you'll see it. And Dictum Tools, which is D-I-C-T-U-M. Uh, they've got they've got awesome supplier stuff as well. So have a look there. K Meredith two thousand nine asks, do you have any other YouTube channels? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, I forgot about the other one. <laughs> We gotta plug it now. No, we can't. We can't. We can't do that. Yes, we are. No. <laughs> yes, we are. It's so right. bad. Me and Rob, Rob and I, have started a, <laughs> a gaming channel called. Rob, I think you should do the honours here. Why? Why do I get the honours? This is awful. Go on. I'm, I'm deleting the channel. No, you're not. The Babinga Boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. Really the, awful. The Babinga Boys. <laughs> That's just so cheesy. We were trying to think of names for ages and then Rob hesitated. I could just see him typing out a message and then deleting it and typing out a message again and eventually he sent it knowing that I would want us to be called that. So, uh, yeah, we have a gaming channel called The Babinga Boys. Um, we've got two videos out so far. We're playing Minecraft. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, we've always liked Minecraft, to be fair. Yeah. We want to have a reason to do it again, because otherwise we never have a reason to relax. Exactly. And so us relaxing is us trying to be productive at the same time. Yeah, yeah, really. we've turned a, another hobby into another opportunity to film ourselves doing something. People are laughing something. at the name. Eh? Hey? People are laughing at the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't a dead joke. That's, that's good to know. No. We're going to have subscribers pouring in now. Pouring it's, in. Uh, if, if you're curious, the, the thumbnail picture is currently a cow. <laughs> Why? Because I haven't had time to do anything else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You feel you look so embarrassed by this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because it needs so much work to get good. It really does. <laughs> the Boobinga boys. Oh, we've, we've got one. Ewan McCauley. You are now... We, I'm going to make a sign in the house. There's going to be a sign that says Ewan McCauley because he's the first one to say subscribed. Ewan, Ewan, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, that's two subscribers we have now. In fact, anyone who tells me that they've subscribed in this stream, I'll put your name on the wall in the game. There you go. That is good. Yeah. That is awesome. Oh, we've got more. David Boxel. Oh, uh, oh, right, I'm we need to take note of these. Um, well, no, it's all right. It saves it all. Oh, you can skip back, all. yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the person who spoke underneath, da underneath David Boxall, I will try and get your name in Minecraft. That will be a challenge. Is it a long one? It's a foreign one. Nice. So it's, it's unique lettering. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I, I said I won't cross promote anything until we've got at least... I don't know, 25 videos up, and I've done it after two, <laughs> after the first week. Yeah, I, I just meant you've got a second channel. I wasn't on about the Babinga boys. Oh, yeah, I also have a second channel where uh, stuff like this gets posted, pretty much. But Babinga boys will be the main channel, I think. It'll take over this one soon. You watch. You watch. Uh, people are suggesting that you should make a wooden throne. I won't go any more into Game of Thrones stuff, but you should make a wooden throne. Wooden throne, yeah. That'd yeah, be quite cool. That'd be cool. I've seen a few um, toilets converted into a Game of Thrones style iron throne using wood and then spray painting it gold, um, gold, iron, silver. That'd be quite cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, D David Boxer actually says, did you do A-levels? If so, which ones before Ryko would? Uh, no, uh, my A-level equivalent was the City and Guilds at Rikerwood. Level 1, 2 and 3, you're doing two years. So it's like an AS level and an A-level. Quick answer to that one, wasn't it? It was. Quick I needed answer. more time. Yeah, sorry. I could try and explain it more. Oh, my God. What? Oh my. Okay, We're... Ross Addison, I'm going to put your name on the wall, then I'm going to take it down from the wall, okay? Because you said unsubscribed. What? There's so many people saying subscribed. Is it's, there? it's mental. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, okay, I've got to grab a question from here. Thank uh, you, guys. Jay Greyhood uh, says, Matt, how tall are you? There you go. That's a, uh, unique that's one. a good one. Uh, last time I checked, six foot one. Um, <laughs> loads of people came up to me at Maker Central. I just get it in general saying, you're taller than I expected. And I'm convinced 
it's because this bench makes me look small. This is big, I'm standing back from it, it makes me look small. I will give you a exact measurement right now. About 1,870 millimeters. Don't know what that is in feet. I could have just oh, got because, my- Because that one doesn't tell you feet? No, uh, I could have just got my imperial tape measure out. That would have been a lot easier. Uh, I am six foot, ooh, about six foot two. Maybe even three, depends how long my head is. Six foot two. I was about to say I've grown an inch then. Um, yeah. Ross Addison, I'm going to write a sign up for you, take it down, and then re put it back up again because now you're subscribed. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate it. Appreciate, Appreciate it. the extra work yeah. you're making me do. Up and down relationship I have with Ross. Oh, do you know him? No. Oh. Just ever since he's given up, taken us through this roller coaster of emotions with Bibinga it's, Boys. It's, it's a massively up and down relationship, it that's is. for sure. It is. Yeah. Um, Binary almost. Yeah. Just, just one or zero. Yeah. That's all it is. I don't know how to describe someone's name when it's not English. Like, I don't want to be offensive or anything. It's just, it's, it's, it's got a foreign difficult. name, so I, I can't pronounce it, I'm, I'm afraid. Uh, it says, so can you tell us how did you deal with the start of woodworking? How did you keep the fire burning when you hit the basic problems like cutting in a straight line? Um, watched lots of videos on it and just, there's no, there's no way around it, unfortunately, other than practice. You've just got to watch as many videos as you can learn from as many different people as possible. Like, in fact, when I look back on it, uh, I, when did I do the course? So I did the level one and two and three for the first two years. And then I think in my third year at Reichertwood, I went on a five day intensive course with Chris Schwarz from the US. And in fact, that was the course where it just sort of clicked for me with dovetails, cutting straight. You know, I've been taught how to do this for two years previously and I was getting pretty good results. But as soon as I went on a course and just got this slightly different technique on how to do this thing, that was what clicked. And I cut a solid row of dovetails. They looked awesome. Completely square, consistent pitch across them all. And they looked amazing. So I would just say, don't just watch my videos, watch other people's videos as well. And eventually you'll find something that works. Um, with regards to cutting straight, I have done a video on that already. So I think if you type in how to saw correctly, you'll find that video as well as loads of other uh, back to basics videos that I've done. But like I say, watch mine, watch other people's and um, yeah, just learn from as many sources as you can. YouTube's free, so go for that, go for that. And put in the time. Yeah, but yeah. I, I think that's largely what it is. It really is time. You, you just can't expect to be able to do anything just from watching the videos. You've, it, got, you've got to put it into practice. Yeah, it is time. And you know, one person doesn't have all the answers at the end of the day. As much yeah. as I try to, I don't. I don't. Uh, <laughs> Shrenix uh, says, uh, says exact measurement in quotes while he measures approximately. It's like when I measured the width of my workshop again. <laughs> <laughs> just, just completely wrong. It's five meters at the start of the video and four meters at the end. Uh, Gertjen Alar says, is that a radio on the shelf to Matt's right, the brown one? Someone yes. didn't work, watch the workshop tour. Mm. No. The question Shame. is, well, actually, we know that's a radio on the white. On the white? Oh, no, I've ruined it. On the right. Um, is it a radio on the left? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my radio out of this. Um, yes, that is a radio. It's the Marley. It's a lovely thing. It's made by Marley, and it's the, uh, what's it called? Get Up, Stand Up. I don't think that phrase has ever been said so formally before. Get up, stand up. I don't know what that means. It's a lyric. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can't remember who by. Oh. Um, but yeah, that's the, it's a good, it's a good, um, good speaker. Very bassy, very bassy. Oh, fair play. So I've got a couple of, um, couple of good questions here. Uh, awesome. One from Adam B saying, what happened to the series where you go around to timber merchants? Is that dead or do you plan on continuing with it? Still planning on continuing with it. Uh, I went through a phase of just not, in fact, no, there was one timber yard that I was trying to organize something with, but trying to get an actual date where they were happy for me to come, make sure that I was free, make sure that Rob was free. We're working with three people here. And uh, 
yeah, that was Oxford Wood Recycling uh, down in Abingdon. And then the other one was English Woodlands Timber down, uh, where's that? I think it's towards Kent, something like that. I've been there once before, but I followed a sat nav. Um, yeah, they were interested, but they haven't got back to me, actually, thinking about it. Chase them up. Yeah, but that will be that will be a really good, really good sawmill tour. And then there was um, Tyler Hardwoods as well, which I haven't chased. I'm very bad at chasing up people. I think I've realised that. I'm very bad. Okay. But yeah, there are people who are interested. I'm, I just need to find that actual date. And in fact, that will be something that a lot of the Thursday tutorial, uh, project days will be focused on eventually. Like when I've got you, because I've got you right. here on Thursday. So I see. yeah, I see. it's not dead. It's not dead. It's not dead. Um, people are, are, are making a very obvious point here. Um, or, or Stuart Morgan sums it up nicely, I realise that both Scott, Philippe and Nathan said it, but the speaker is by Marley. Yeah. Get Up Stand Up is a lyric from Bob Marley. Marley. It's almost like they planned it, he says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Of course it is. <sighs> I've had that speaker for like five years, four years. <laughs> It's, it's impressive how long it's been going on. Yep, there. that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. My mate used to have a cat called Marley. I think I might have just Marley sort of lost that its meaning. Jax. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think Liam had a cat called Marley as well. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Uh, right. Uh, JD Walks asks, without getting political, and he's not really. Do you think Brexit will affect hardwood supplies in the UK? I come over from France to Surrey Timbers etc because it's really better do makers in uk think it will change um i've heard mixed things about this um i yeah i heard that after brexit the oak would become more expensive uh because i mean most of the uk's hardwood is imported we're very bad at actually growing stuff ourselves um most of it comes from europe and north america and stuff like that uh so as for how it would how would well, as for how Brexit would affect hardwood supplies in the UK, I'm not, I've heard that it will, but I haven't really seen the results of that. Um, yeah, not sure, not sure. I, I don't go to timber yards often enough, to be honest, to notice. I, I tend to just have large stocks of timber that I just siphon off and then just do one big order at a timber yard and then go through that. So I never really notice those fluctuations, to be honest. But yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. Cool. Uh, a couple of people have asked about that remote switch for your dust collector, but haven't you? No, you haven't sorted it out yet. No. Uh, no, it doesn't matter because even if you had power with you, it's yeah. It's One thing I have done though is wired an extension cable up there, so I don't have to unplug the microwave each time I want to use it. And now that it's permanently plugged in, so we are one step closer to the lever system. That's a massive bonus for everyone involved. Yeah. 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 You. Me. Just you. Just me. Yeah, yeah. I don't use the microwave. Yeah. I'm not allowed to as yeah. a uh, member of staff. <laughs> I'm not management. <laughs> You're not authorised. No. Uh, you can't use the microphone. The microphone. The lever. Uh, oh, Garchinalara again uh, says, "I love the bass build. Any chance you'll make another?" Someone else asked uh, if you're going to do any other musical instruments. Uh, I swear I was going to do. Yeah, I thought about doing an acoustic bass at some point. Uh, yeah, bass guitar build, I haven't felt that inspired to do anything wacky again, like that one. After I made my first bass guitar, the design for the second one was instantly in my head. I didn't film the first bass guitar, by the way, so don't go looking. The second one was the only one that I filmed. Um, but yeah, after I made the first one, the second one popped into my head, had it in my head for three years. Within that time, Ben Crow from Crimson Custom Guitars made one that was very similar. And then I eventually made my design as well. So I haven't actually had any like thoughts about the third one, but I, like, I definitely will. I think it's safe to say I will. However, for the acoustic, if I was to make a bass guitar, I would definitely try and make it in a wacky way. It's not just going to be your standard acoustic bass. So, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd YJK cool. asks a very good uh, question. Well, no, actually just says a statement. Make a trombone. I mean, that's just for simplest. Yeah. True. I mean, I don't know why you went for anything else. Trombone's the way to go. I've got a lathe. I've got a milling machine. What you've got to do, just drill a hole in a bit of metal, bend it, and then... 
That's exactly what trombone is, and you're an instant expert, just like that. Good shout. Good I was shout. suggesting making a cajon. Put some buttons on it. Buttons on. That's no longer a trombone. What? Oh no, music expert here. Do you know what a trombone is, Matt? Well, it's like a how trumpet. Do you play... Okay, how do you play a trombone? Wait, <laughs> is it a drum? No, it's not. Wait, that's a. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. What am I thinking of? <laughs> trombone yeah it's that one isn't it it is yes. it is that one well yeah done. thank you what was i thinking of tambourine <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't know oh, <laughs> oh. right uh let's see i feel like i need something to do in these live streams like I mean, people have. I, I, one person actually said, "Can you stop throwing things around because it's very distracting?" What me? Yeah, I'm just, I'm fidgety. I, I say I'm feeling so very. Um, are you going to say you're bored? I'm not bored. You better not be bored. I'm fidgety. I'm fidgety. Um, yeah, I'm not bored. I'll just spin a pen on my finger. Oh, there we go. Next question. Why don't you make a drum kit out of wood? Something about the size, I think, is the issue with that. And the fact that I have no rhythm whatsoever. Yes, yeah, so there's no point doing that. There is absolutely yeah. no point. Absolutely no point. I have, yeah. Someone did make a drum kit at Brikerwood before, though. Looked pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Creed Sexton suggests that they are also valved trombones, not just slides. So maybe, maybe I'm not... I, I did think I saw one once. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? definitely did. I think definitely. you're making it all up. No, definitely saw one. Definitely. Uh, when's the Q&A coming out? Says Shuttlewood Works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, hello. Um, Kieran Shuttleworth. Ah. I uh, yeah, met him at Maker Central. All right, Kieran. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Q and a is coming out. I'm halfway through the edit of it. Uh, it's taking quite a long time. Apparently filming throughout the week on different days, in different environments, answering just different, blah, 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 different questions. Takes quite a long time to edit, so I'm slowly getting through it. Slowly getting through it. Um, as for the outcome, it's going to be very, very similar to my early videos. I'm talking before my tutorial videos, between the, uh, the workbench build and my first tutorial video, where things were very like slapdash and not filmed great, but sort of like fast-paced in a way. Yeah, it's a different style, so be prepared for that. I almost considered putting it on my second channel, so as not to. Um, break the flow of the current videos on the main channel, but yeah, I'm aiming to get it out by next Saturday, which is like a month and a half late. That's embarrassing. Oops. It really is. Oops. really is. That is awful. Uh, Kieran Shaw, love you, man. Why is Rob's camera work so good? I think it's just because I've got a natural talent for being amazing. I, th I think that's all I can bring it down to. And something about when you compare my footage against someone like Matt's. It's, I mean, you, you're going to get a nice bit of contrast there, so I won't deny it helps. Can't argue with that, can I? Can't no. argue with that. Um, I'm the woodworker. Yeah, it's true, it's true. And you, you, it's, it's somehow you've done quite a good job without, uh, without yeah. doing video stuff. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You uh, wait till you start making projects, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I want to struggle so badly. Uh, uh, RP Woodwork says, just watch the drill press table part one. Why not do it as one video from start to finish? I get so impatient having to wait a week. Maybe that's just me. Uh, that, that's a, I mean, that's a combination of both of us. Yeah, I, mean, I, yeah. Did, I did say this at the start of the live stream, but you probably missed it. Originally, it was meant to be one video, but then Rob had to go early that day. I continued filming while he was gone, and then... I forgot to upload the footage to Google Drive and then Rob wasn't able to access it until this morning. Well, yes, it was... You, no, you uploaded footage. You definitely remember to upload footage. Oh, I, you just yeah. didn't upload the right footage. I uploaded the footage that Rob already had. Yes. So, uh, but, yeah. But then, but then I'm also at fault because you uploaded it and I waited a few days before even checking it and then checked it and thought, ah. Bad communication. We yeah, had, we had intentions we'll to learn. do it in one video, so apologies for that. So let's, let's just do a couple more. To yep. round it up, I think. Cool. Uh, William Simpson asks, what happened to the Okey Pokies? Okey Pokies. I can't believe I'm still getting questions on them. Oh. Um, Okey Pokey series. Uh, Christ, what happened on that? Um, it just... 
I didn't enjoy making them in the end. They, it was really fun experimenting and trying to get that compound mitre on the corners of the pin boards. By the way, for those of you that don't know what the Okie Pokies were, I made a, I started trying to make a batch of pin boards out of oak called Okie Pokies, which I thought was quite a cool name. Um, but it just, the design works and everything. I've got three of them hanging up in my study at home and they look amazing, but just making them was a bit boring and I don't know, I just lost faith halfway through that series and I don't think they're actually on my channel anymore. I think I've hidden them as a result. It's just, it's a bit of a dead series. I, there wasn't much passion behind it or anything like that. Uh, might revisit it, no promises. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, okay, so uh, there's actually a, a couple of, well, I, I guess we'll make these for final ones. Mm -hmm. A couple of uh, questions, I guess, based on hindsight, really. Yep. What would you improve on the workbenches, says Dan C. I guess if you were to remake them, what has sort of erred you over time and realised, oh, I wish I'd done that better? Uh, the Rubo workbench, the, everything about it is amazing. Um, the only thing I would possibly do on this is make a slightly larger overhang on this side so I can sit under there like, I can just sit under there like a table and work in front of me. Because um, at the moment, my legs kind of hit the legs on the workbench. As for the other side, the end vice seems to be making this horrible like noise at the moment. So I think I, I probably just need to put some grease in there or something like that. But yeah, like those are the only two things I would change about this. Don't get me wrong, like, it's, like this thing is perfect for me. It's just hindsight, I suppose, like you said. Slight big, uh, bit of a larger overhang here and yeah, I just need to look at that vice. As for the power tool workbench, not a lot I would change about that. Uh, would I change anything? The only thing I would change is I would put a shelf in the compartment where I've got the power toolbox storage. So I can put a shallower toolbox on the top and then one of the larger ones such as the router or the plunge saw underneath. Because if I want the plunge saw, I have to take both of the boxes out, take the top one off, put that underneath, take the plunge saw out, put the plunge saw back, then put it on top of the little box. And then if I want the little box, I've got to do that all in reverse again. So definitely I'd put a shelf in there. But other than that, not a lot, not a lot. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe a bright green top. Ooh. <laughs> no. Uh -oh. oh, could you imagine the green screen possibilities though? That'd be amazing. Just have the universe Damn. underneath your workbench. I, that's exactly what I thought, like a, a solar system yeah. kind of thing. Shall we just get a green screen and just put it on top of the workbench? I don't think we need a green top. We just we get don't. a green sheet. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Get a green sheet, Sorted. universe and a workbench. Sorted. Um, and then to keep it relevant, James Holden says, how do you actually make a hexagon bowl? What would you have done differently? Ah, this was an interesting one, actually. Laying out a hexagon on... Just laying out a hexagon with a compass. People were saying, me, uh, saying to me, you can't lay out a hexagon using the same radius as a circle because pi is equal to one point, uh, sorry, 3.14, right? Is that right? Yeah, 3.14. So did you see the Turning Tuesday video? Do you know what I'm on about? I'll admit, I saw half of it and I laughed a lot when you attempted to use the compass at the start going around that circle. Right, uh, I'm gonna draw this real quick because I wanna run this by a few of the mathematicians in the crowd because there's gonna be a few of you out there. Um, right, uh, buh, 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 where's my pet? Have you got a pencil there? Um. Oh, wait, I've got one here, it's all good. Right, if I draw a circle, hang on. This is when we need top down. Oh, again. come on. Let me just. That's the sound of Matt sharpening his pencil on the um... disc sander. Disc sander, thank you, Matt. Right, if you draw a circle, wait, no, that's wrong. If you draw a hexagon, uh, 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 then that hexagon, would you agree? is made out of six equilateral triangles. Yeah? Uh, yes, I mean, I can move that closer. Okay. If it was drawn accurately, hexagon is drawn out of six equilateral triangles. Yeah. Yeah? I see you told me to put on land focus, and now we need also focus. <laughs> okay, so that's fine. So if you draw a circle first, and then we do the hexagon, oh, that's nowhere near accurate. Hang on, let me try and draw a better circle. 
I feel like people will already be answering this and I'll be looking like an absolute idiot now. Nothing's come through yet. Okay, that's it's cool. only just coming up. So if you draw a hexagon within a circle, yeah, all you've got to do is go from that centre point. Is that on auto? No. Shall I just get closer? Yeah, you get closer. I'll get closer. Right. Is that good? Yeah. Is it focusing? Might be a bit. bit. There, OK. So if I go from that centre and then I extend it out to create the radius, draw the radius, and then I keep that same setting to then go across to here, then that distance, sorry, that distance should be the same as that distance, and therefore you create six equilateral triangles. Right, yeah, no, I see where you're coming from. Yeah? yeah. So, like, yeah, if you walk around this circle six times, then you create a hexagon, which should be the same. That's, how, that's what I had in my mind. Yeah, Kieran asked, what grade did you get in maths? B. Might have even got an A. Might have even got an A. I can't remember what I got now. I might have got an A. Just saying I was top set as well. You were top set. That's just embarrassing. Geometry. Geometry. Do you know what the even better thing is? I was teaching this to my City and Guild students the other day, saying that is how you draw a hexagon. So no one attempted to try <laughs> then, it out. You didn't think you would... <laughs> and then I tried to do it on video and I couldn't do it. <laughs> I am convinced it's because the dividers I was using um, were... Uh, where did I put it? I think I got them out. I was, I'm convinced that when I was stabbing them into the grain, they were slightly shifting. And if you do that six times, then it's going to make that last one inaccurate. But I just realised how out of focus it is now. Oh, okay. Back. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, laying out a hexagon within a circle. That's how I imagined you do it. Hexagon is six equilateral triangles. Um, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Has anyone said if I'm wrong? Uh, um, da, 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 da. No, it's just a few questions. Uh, well, I mean, Neon Joe says he's not a mathematician, but yes, a hexagon inside a circle will have line segments equal to the radius of a circle. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes fair, sense. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, when I watched it in the video, I thought, he's yeah. mental, it's not working. I, like, I didn't understand what you were going for or how that was meant to work. Right, okay. But the theory behind it sounds sound. Sounds sound. Sounds sound. Sound, mate. Yeah. Cool. That's good. I wasn't going mental then. Good. I need no. to address the haters. Everyone could be a hater of the month on Turning Tuesday for my insulting my maths when we all know how good it actually is. Right, so I think we should probably call it there because yeah. we've been going on for a good, good old 45 minutes. Have we? We have, Lord. we haven't stopped. We can... And I, do, I genuinely do apologise for not getting to all your questions. I do realise that it's really annoying when I skip past them um, and then you repeat them again and I also see them again. It's not because... I'm ignoring you personally. It's just because chances are that question has been asked before on a live stream and I don't want the same answers coming up over and over and over again. Yeah. Particularly, there's uh, one person, I, I don't have the questions up right now, particularly someone asking about why you don't have a... Table, table saw. saw. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a few of those. And I was just like, yeah, we've answered that. Yeah. A uh, quick answer to that. Have a look on my website, mattestley.com. Go on the projects thing. You'll see a project tab on the... Power Tool Workbench, click on that. There's a big blog post on there explaining why I don't have a table saw. Um, so yeah, if that's all the questions, those of you that are late to the live streams or you don't know how or when this works, we do a live stream seven o'clock every Thursday. If you want a quick notification as to when that's gonna be posted, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button and you will get reminded when, ev when, bleh, 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 when I upload a video each time because YouTube, even though you subscribe to me, YouTube doesn't always tell you that a video has been uh, a video has been uploaded, unless you press the bell button. Yeah. So put the bell on, and you'll always see the videos. So That's we'll it. never have any issues. That'd be awesome. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, of course, if you just keep asking questions in the stream below, maybe we'll address them in the next stream. If there's anything particularly um, particularly interesting, I'm sure yeah, there will I, be. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. So, some people are saying, I, I should have said, uh, what was it, was it Tim Scott? No, who said it? Uh, Scott Smilly says, uh, I should have stated that it's been asked before. Yes, I mean, I could have typed it in, um, but like me speaking over the top while Matt's actually trying to explain something, it's not going to work. So, I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll go through all of the comments, and I will make sure they're all sort of summarised, and we'll quickly go through them 
uh, over the next week and make sure we've got answers to Blimey. various things. Yeah. And those of you that are aware that I have already answered a question, if you wouldn't mind jumping into the comments and give us a hand, maybe just directing people to the video or the uh, the blog post that I have addressed someone's question to, that would be that would be really handy if you could do that. And then everyone's happy at that point. And we're yeah. constantly getting new questions and yeah. Yeah, I mean, we should probably just have an FAQ on the website. Do you know what? I did think about that. I thought about having a search thing as well, where you could go onto the website, type in a topic, and it, you, yeah, you'd be able yeah. to find... The only thing that would mean is I would have to... Uh, what do you call it? Where you have to type out an entire video, everything that's been said. Yeah. What do you do it? What do you, what's it called? What, wait, what? Oh, the URL link? No, no, no. Right. When, you, when you talk, someone types it out. What's that called? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. It's almost like you're creating a script that's already been said. Yes, exactly. The, uh, that's the only way I thought of the FAQ working. Um, um, but then if you've got a video that you can link back, I guess you can always put a URL yeah. in there as could well. Yeah, do that as well. And that. Oh, I found my dividers. <laughs> yeah, and I will say thank you to the 42 subscribers oh, on Bubinga yes. Boys. Oh, yes, I was going to address that. 42, because I was the first one, thank you very much. <laughs> so, yeah, I take that priority. Uh, so, which probably means I've, I mean, I've got to go through these comments anyway to yeah. find those 42 people who I've now got to make signs for. You promised it. You I promised did. it. I did. That's a whole Those of you that haven't subscribed to Bubinga Boys, please subscribe to the Bubinga Boys. If you do and you let us know, you will get your name on a wall and you'll be immortalized in our survival island on Minecraft. Indeed. Indeed. Transcript was the word you were looking for. Transcript. That was it. Transcript. Yes. Right. Let's call it there. Let's call it there. We're going to head off. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. So next Thursday at 7 o'clock, you will see us there. Indeed. See you then. Au revoir. Thank you very much for watching this video. To ensure you don't miss out on any future things that we post, please consider pressing that subscribe button. And if you'd like to support what we're doing here, you can join my many other patrons who are all helping to constantly improve what we're doing here. The money does not go into my back pocket. It constantly gets reinvested to bring you better, more high quality and more consistent content as well. So thank you in advance for that and have a great day.